Welcome back to Pen Mr. Channel. In this video, we will summarize some common mistakes made during the use of photovoltaic products, along with the adverse consequences of these mistakes. Our goal is to help you avoid these errors and their negative impact during actual operation. Using cables and protection devices with insufficient ratings. In the photovoltaic system, each component is connected by cables and protection devices, such as fuses or circuit breakers. The maximum current of the circuit determines the required ratings for the cables and protection devices. If the cable and protection device specifications are lower than the maximum current rating of the circuit, it could lead to cable overload and overheating, causing insulation materials to degrade or melt, and potentially resulting in cable burnout and fires. If the protection device is undersized, it may trip prematurely under normal operating conditions, causing frequent disruptions and interfering with regular system operation, rather than providing proper protection for the circuit. Oversizing the photovoltaic array. The configuration of the photovoltaic array should strictly follow the specification of the controller or inverter. Both inverters and controllers have specified limits for the maximum input voltage and current. If the voltage or current of the configured photovoltaic array exceeds these limits, it may lead to equipment overload. Prolonged operation in these overloading conditions can damage internal components. When a photovoltaic array's power is too large, the inverter may overheat due to the continuous processing of excessive current. This prolonged overheating can cause internal components to fail or even destroy the power components. Lack of surge protection Surge protection is critical in photovoltaic systems, especially in regions with frequent lightning activity. Surge protectors are key components in preventing lightning surges from damaging the equipment. They can limit voltage fluctuations and prevent overvoltage from reaching critical components of the photovoltaic system, such as the inverter, controller, and battery bank. Without surge protection, lightning-induced voltage spikes can directly damage the electronic components of the inverter or controller causing them to fall. Battery banks are particularly sensitive to overvoltage and surge currents. Excessive voltage can decompose electrolyte inside the batteries, potentially leading to explosion or fires. Ineffective grounding Grounding plays a crucial role in photovoltaic systems. When electrical device fall, grounding provides a safe path to direct the full current into the ground preventing the current from passing through the human body. When the system is hit by lightning or subjected to voltage spikes, a proper grounding system can effectively direct the current into the ground, preventing overvoltage from affecting the normal operation of the system. Grounding systems that are poorly connected or improperly installed, such as grounding electrodes placed in incorrect locations, result in ineffective grounding, which compromise the safety and long-term stability of the photovoltaic system. Failure to protect against insects and small animals Inverters and controllers used outdoors are often exposed to flying insects, jackals, and other small animals. These creatures can enter the equipment through the gaps or ventilation openings, leading to short circuit, malfunctions, or even equipment damage. To address this, fine mesh grid should be installed over ventilation holes, or insect-proof cover should be used to prevent small animals from entering, while ensure adequate heat dissipation for the equipment. Improper power connections between the inverters or controllers Power configuration of inverters or controller is common in photovoltaic system design to increase system capacity and provide redundancy. However, 
Paralleling different models, especially those that do not support parallel operation, can lead to issues such as mismatched output voltage, power imbalances, equipment overheating, synchronization failure, control conflicts, damage to internal circuits, and overcharging or overdischarging of the batteries. If devices from different models cannot properly coordinate charging and discharging of the batteries, certain battery cells may become overcharged or overdischarged, reducing battery life or even damaged batteries. Photovoltaic connections in controller or inverter power systems. In both controller and inverter power systems. It is essential to ensure that each device in the power system is connected to the separate photovoltaic array, rather than connecting the same PV array to multiple devices. Taking the inverter as an example, since the internal buses of the devices are not isolated, when multiple devices share a single PV array, the bus terminals effectively create a short circuit condition. Forming a loop with other devices throughout the PV terminals, this results in reverse current, which can cause irreversible damage to the main board. Therefore, in power systems with controllers or inverters, the PV input ports of each device should be connected to a different PV array to avoid unnecessary damage. Incorrect power connection of different battery models. Lithium-ion phosphate batteries of different models may have variations in voltage, capacity, internal resistance, charging characteristics, and the age levels. These discrepancies can lead to imbalanced charging, uneven current distribution, temperature variations, and ineffective battery management system operation. Ultimately, these issues could cause overcharging, overdischarging. Accelerated battery aging and even battery damage. In extreme cases, safety risks such as overheating, fires, or explosion may arise. To ensure the stability, safety, and longevity of the system, it is crucial to use only the same model and specification of the batteries in parallel. Incorrect series or parallel connection of different models of solar panels. Solar panels of different models often exhibit variations in output voltage, current, and power output. In a series configuration, the voltages of individual panels will add up. If the open circuit voltage of each solar panel differs, the overall output voltage of the array will become unstable. This can lead to some panels reaching their maximum voltage limit. Which negatively impacts the overall array voltage output and reduces efficiency. In the case of power configuration, if the maximum power points of the panels are different, the overall array power will be limited by the lowest power output panel. The current front or panels will be adjusted based on the panel with the smallest current, meaning that. Higher power panels will not be able to operate at their full potential. Even if two panels have the same maximum power output, differences in their open circuit voltage and short circuit current can cause current imbalances, voltage discrepancies, and a reduction in maximum power point tracking efficiency, leading to array imbalances. To avoid these issues. It is best to use solar panels of the same model, specification, and performance to ensure stable and efficient array operation. This concludes the common mistakes when setting up a photovoltaic system. We hope this video was helpful. Feel free to share any additional pitfalls or challenges you've encountered during the installation process, along with potential solutions. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.